Hey everybody, it's John Mack again, and uh, today I'm going to open up the Masters of the Universe Classics Madame Raz, and this is the standard shipping boxes that they used to come in um, back when Maddie Collector was still a thing. Back it says Princess of Power, 1984 to 2014. And here we have the packaging for the Madame Raz. And of course there's the Prince of Power uh, sticker on there. Madame Raz, the magical witch of the Whispering Woods. It includes broom. Because, uh, you know, she is a witch, so she rides a broom. And it's in the standard um, blister bubble that the all... Uh, that whole line came with. And um, I'm kind of excited to get this one open, because I think at this point um, their standard figures were, you know, they all use the same um, buck over and over again. And this is a completely original mold that was in the line, and nobody else shared it. And I think they, uh, Four Horsemen, really excelled when they got to do figures that were a little bit different. And on the back, it shows a few other figures. Bo, Adora, Madame Raz, Bubble Power, she -Ra, Snout, Spout, and Shadow Weaver. And I still don't have my hands on Snout, Spout yet. But here is the bio for Madame Raz, if anybody wants to uh, check that out. And um, she debuted in, of course, Season 1 of the She-Ra comic. Uh, this is the the art and the, the episode guide for the Masters of the Universe. And they've got a couple of cool little uh, pieces of artwork in here of Madame Raz and what she looked like in the cartoon. She was one of the rare uh, characters that knew she was secret ability, her cowl, and of course Light Hope. And um, it was like He-Man 2.0, but they tried to make it more to attract the um, young female audience. So that's a little look at what Madame Raz looks like. And now we'll take a quick break. I'll open her up and we'll get a closer look. Okay, here we have Madame Raz outside of her package. And I'm actually surprised with those teeny tiny feet that she has, uh, that she stands up pretty good and she does feature mostly reds and purples and she has that red paint that um, usually rubs off if it touches any other figure like um, Adora's and her hat is purple it has this flower right there and a little bit of white hair coming out lots of patches and they put some really nice little details on her outfit she has her cape a little patchy area right there. Here is a close-up of her face detail. She looks like she really just stepped out of the cartoon. There's her witch outfit and her legs. And then ah, her shoes are fantastic. Look at those things. So uh, they did a really good job of bringing the animated version of Madame Raz to life. She stands up pretty good. And she has um, an articulation in her head which can spin all the way around, which is kind of creepy. And it has a little bit of bobble movement to it. And she has uh, hinged shoulders that go all the way around and they also lift. She has a swivel at her elbows and I'm going to bend this one because that one's really stiff. And it takes a little bit but they do have not quite 90 degree bends in them and she has a swivel at the wrist and I don't think she has any waist articulation she has different kind of um, joints in her hips than the other figures do of course because they're completely different <clears throat> 
and they go out to the side pretty well and then they go forward a good amount and they go back just a little bit kind of more off to the side she does have oh, her, her her legs are in the wrong direction I believe maybe it's in the front there we go she does a swivel at her in her knees and she does have a knee bend in those teeny tiny little things and then she has hinged feet and they swivel on the way around too so they gave her quite a bit of uh, movement with this figure and she takes just a little bit of balancing she is or her cape here is um, kind of a flexible hard plastic but because of it she has to lean forward a little bit and then she comes with um, an accessory which is of course broom and again he looks just like the animated version of broom uh, they did a great job on capturing his sculpt of his face um, he's got a little bit of wood grain going through him he, I, I don't know if the, yeah you can see it it's where the um, plastic band that held him in was holding on to him and it left this indentation in the plastic and the only articulation he has is his uh, shoulders for his arms go out so she can ride on him and he does have some peg holes in him but I haven't tried standing him up yet so let's see yeah he is feels like he's oh, does he swivel here? nope he leans back a little bit too much to get to stand up, so I don't think he's going to be really easy to get to stand by himself, but thankfully he's light enough. Yeah, he should just get lean against her. So uh, let's see if she can kind of stand on him. Maybe. Her ankles do move, or add a lot of movement, so we'll see. Yeah, with a little bit of help, you can uh, get her to ride on broom. But he'll probably on my shelf be just a standing companion with her. Again, now we gotta try to rebalance both of them. Maybe. Yay! And then, just to check out the scale, here's Cowl. And, of course, her companion whose secret she holds, Adora. Into the shot there. Stand up, everybody. There we go. So that was a quick look at uh, Madame Raz, and yeah, she's um, a Princess of Powers figure, so maybe not everybody uh, collected her, and I think she's one of the cooler figures they did just because of how different she is, and she's a one-of-a-kind. There's never been another Madame Raz. There wasn't one in the classic line, so she was the first time for her to be made, and I think she really adds to the filmation look that... Uh, they started pulling from at that point in time. I mean, she's not the filmation style, which um, the 2.0 figures are, but I still think they did a good job. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching, and um, thank you all the new subscribers that I have been picking up. And as always, like, subscribe, share, and um, let me know if any of you guys picked her up or not. And curious how many other collectors have the Madame Raz or if you were more content with just the more basic He-Man figures or maybe you only collected the shaper ones I don't know anyway let me know and uh, as always thanks for watching
If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, there'll be a button down below where you can do that as well. And again, thank you.